Hello everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford. Today we're going to be going over arranging shape layers. Now, when you arrange shape layers, you're able to change the shape position and the stacking order on the layer. Um, you're able to distribute them horizontally or vertically and uh, a couple other things as well as I'll show you. So let's might as well get started. So let's select our shape layer or our shape tool here. Let's make sure that it's on shape up here. And then I'm going to check my settings real quick. I want to have it new layers good. And then let's just check all these. I don't want fixed sizes. I'm just going to do unconstrained right now. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it a, a circle. And then I'm going to change this to subtract. And then I'm going to go ahead to my custom shape tool just to make it a little more interesting. And I already have the cat selected. And I'm going to draw my custom shape on here. And as you can see, it's in there. Now what I want, what I want to do here is I want to have these in the center so that the cat is in the center of this circle. Kind of like a little silhouette kind of looking thing. So what I'm going to do is go down here to my selection tool here. And I want to make sure I'm on the path selection tool, the black arrow. Go ahead and select your cat. And then go ahead and select the um, circle. And go up here to the middle option here, where it is uh, the path alignment options. And you can see that we are now able to select from a bunch of these. So make sure that align to canvas is on first, because uh, we're going to align it this in the center of the canvas. So let's go to horizontal centers. It's going to align them horizontally. And then we can go to vertical centers. And now they're both aligned uh, vertically and horizontally in the center. And now we've got what we wanted. Now I can show you some other things. If we go to left edges, it's going to align it to the left edge of the canvas. Now I'm going to deselect these and uh, bring them over here or something like that. Now. If I want the cat to line up to the left edge of the circle here, I can do that as well. So select these, select both of them, go to your options up here, and hit Align to Selection. Now when I uh, go to Align, go to Left Edges, the cat is going to align to the left edge of the circle. So whatever is the farthest to the left is what the other things are going to align to. So if I had the cat all the way to the left, the circle would have moved to the left. I'll demonstrate that real quick. All right. And the way that you uh, select them does not matter. So let's go to left edges, and you can see that works right there. So that's how your alignment um, works going on there. And another thing that I wanted to show you was that you could distribute your um, edges or your shapes out evenly, which is really helpful. So let me delete these out. Let's go to our rectangle tool here. And let's go to our options. Let's go to fixed size. And we'll do 20 by 100. And that's going to make us some 20 by 100 uh, rectangles. So just click, oh, click and drag, and just put these wherever. Just make like four or five of them or something like that. Now go ahead to your selection tool, and let's select these. Oh, first we, first we should just merge all these. Merge shapes. OK. Now we can select these. Merging them puts them all into one layer. That way we can use our arrange tools. And then we'll go to, um, we can distribute by width and we can distribute by height. Let's go to distribute width. Actually, let's center these first. Center and, oop, I didn't want to do that. Damn it. Control Z. All right. Now we can go to distribute by width and it's going to distribute them out evenly amongst each other. And now I can, if I move them around, they'll all be evenly spaced from each other. So, which is pretty nice. And vertical. So that's how you arrange things in, um, that's how you arrange shapes and paths in Photoshop when they're all in one layer. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about was the align edges option. When you have that on, pretty much what it does is it aligns all the shape layers to an internal pixel grid within Photoshop, and that ensures sharp outlines. So you basically just want to have that on all the time. When you're working as a web designer um, or working on other web things, 
that you can see that this will help out a lot and if you take it off and try to put things into your uh, design they're not going to look as sh nice and sharp on the edges it's going to look bad so make sure you basically always have that on the next thing i want to go over is the uh bringing the shapes to the front and back you're a lot you're able to use these uh arrangement settings to adjust the stacking order of the shapes now if I did something like this and I like brought them on top of each other and they were doing like some subtracting and things like that from each other let's do that and then um, subtract if I go ahead and select this one and I want to send it to let's see if I bring it forward if I bring it forward you can see that now it's subtracting out of the shape instead of subtracting everything else subtracting out of it so that's how you can use your alignment options to change the way um, things are going on in your shapes so that's all i wanted to go over with the shape layers and how to arrange them so now you know how to do that and you have a better grasp of working with the shape layers so thanks for watching the tutorial i look forward to see you guys in the next one have a good one everyone